Hi, Robert Curry again. We're, we're uh, continuing our series on basic electrical components of an air conditioning system. Uh, the part I'm holding today is called a contactor. A contactor is nothing more than an on and off switch for an outside unit, uh, typically is where we will see these wired in. Uh, we'll wire power wire. Our power will come in from our disconnect box, usually on the bottom, and from the top, uh, we will connect our compressor wires, fan motor wires, and things of that nature. On the two sides, we have uh, what's called a coil. Uh, very important for you to pay attention on the box of the coil, the voltage of the coil. So some systems use 120 volt coils. Uh, we see that a lot in commercial refrigeration uh, and some commercial applications. Mostly for residential, this will be a 24 volt coil. It's very important that when connecting and disconnecting these wires, that these wires are connected in the same place. So in other words, we need to make sure that the 24 volt coil wires or thermostat wires are connected to the 24 volt coil on the contactor. Different contactors will have different configurations of where these are located. Some are located both on the same side. Uh, most that we see now, this is a 40 amp contactor, will be uh, located on each side. Putting a thermostat wire on one of these other terminals will result in catastrophic failure to not only your thermostat wire, but to every other electrical component, including your thermostat. So it's very important when changing the contactor out that you understand what it does. But it's also equal as important that you're able to explain to a customer what this is. Simply describe, this is an on and off switch for your air conditioning system outside. Sometimes the points will get burned and pitted in, inside here. These need to be looked at and inspected each uh, season uh, to make sure that they're not burned and pitted. If they pit and burn too much, sometimes it will stick close. The outside, uh, outside unit won't shut off and the system will ice up and we see a lot of technicians going out. First thing they do is grab a bottle of Freon when in fact the contactor is, is their, their source of problems. Uh, these will also cause coils will go bad. They will also cause fuses to burn and other things to happen inside a system. But it's important for you to understand that this is merely an on and off switch for your outside unit. If you have further questions, please give us a call. Thank you very much and have a great day.